things about watching slime for the second time again is all the things that i've never just like picked up on even the ogres right like their designs i didn't even know one of the guy even existed the big ass dude with the hammer i forgot that everyone was so hostile towards rimuru because in, in a couple episodes they're all like waga you right benimaru everybody else's design pretty cool before they get transformed after they get transformed they pretty much all turn into like aesthetic like husbandos and waifus right and this arc all ties into the ogres the orcs guild right and then Lizardman, Gabiru. I expect Gabiru to show up pretty soon. Let's begin today's episode. Are they all? Is this Rimuru's first meal? Because he said that he'd finally be able to eat with them, right? Umai! Umai. Nah, it's probably so good. The most masculine cry of <laughs> the taste good. Nice! Everybody's eating skewers and peas! That's actually a huge deal if you could never taste before. What about the ogres though? Are they eating? <laughs> They're just in the side? <laughs> okay. Because of... The Majin. Oh, Gata? Oh, wait, Gata? <laughs> Casually walking into an important meeting? So, orcs are really weak, huh? Canonically, but. The attack on the ogre village. <laughs> CGI orcs. <laughs> Oh, that's a little racist, man. They keep calling them pigs. <laughs> I mean, they are pigs, but you know. Right, because Demon Lord Gelmute is probably supplying them with that, right? Mm -hmm. I love how they keep, like, casually insulting all the orcs. What was that? Was that his leader? Dude, this guy? There's a couple of these clown dudes that are still so fucking mysterious at the end of season two. Because end of season two, there's another clown dude, not fatty. There's a little bit of a short, like a skinnier dude who's like super strong and took out one of the demon lords. Right? I forget. I forget. But these masked dudes, man, they're so still mysterious. No, I can't believe they were introduced this early. Holy shit. Let's go. <laughs> High level. Wait, wait, wait. No, they didn't mistake that clown mask with Rimuru's mask. No, I thought they... Isn't like um Demon Lord Gelmude wearing the same kind of mask when he was talking to Gild? I thought that was the mascot he was basing it off. I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Gata. Casual Gata doesn't care about the plot. Gata does eating the skewers. He did not understand. What is that guy's goal, actually? Six of my 300. Damn. They all got culled. But now that I think about it, what is Gelmu's plan here? Okay, you take over the orcs and you fucking run down the ogres. But what is the ultimate goal here? I never actually thought about it. And in fact, I don't even remember Demon Lord Gelmu, to be honest. Like, all I remember is Clayman and Leon. And, and of course, the red haired guy, Guy or something, right? Meet him also. <laughs> oh, what about Shuna? What did she do? <laughs> She's cooking, right? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> they love her. One of the cutest things about her design is that she's got the long sleeves and she's always going like this. Something about that's very cute. Obviously, beg Rimuru for help and assimilate in our village. Yo! She's dancing! This guy! I straight up still don't remember who he is. 
Is he just such a forgettable character? I do not remember him. I remember pretty much everyone else except that guy. <laughs> no plan. That's up for you to decide. Come on, make a plan for us. Hell yeah! Name us too! <laughs> Guaranteed rent, housing, sorry, housing, food, shelter, like, you got everything here. And Rimuru's goal again, it, 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 he might be thinking it could lead to Leon's. I guess it makes sense, yeah. <laughs> they keep showing her dancing. Let's go, Shion. It's probably like the pride of like the crown prince of an ogre accepting the fact that he has to accept Rimuru's hell, right? That's probably kind of like, you know, in his head, he's probably thinking about that. Ooh, spy friend. I like this guy, John Smith. They don't really have an option though, they have to do it. Ooh. Because he feels powerless, yeah. There's a way to get power though. All you gotta get is a name from him. Benny Maru, easy. Hello. Okay, he's accepted. Oh, little bit of a selfish request. He only wants help, you know, to be subservient until we defeat the orcs. And then after we want to go our own way. Well, we know that doesn't happen, but I didn't even remember. Damn, Benny would have had this in part of the negotiations. Rimuru probably says it's fine, right? Hmm. So it's true loyalty, right? The fact that Benimaru decided to stay after this. That's true loyalty. Here we go. Ogres have joined. I mean, think about it. It's a fucking crown prince of like an ogre clan having to fucking bow down to a slime. Like, of, of course his pride hurts, but like, you know, there's more important things. Yes, he's a true leader to be able to, you know, I don't know, set those things aside. Swallow his pride. And even if he's like standing on the bed, he's so short. Here we go. That's right, we got the power for that. Hmm? What risk? And also right there, right, to name, I think the risk that he's talking about is like the how tired he gets after naming. And to name such superior monsters, which sounds really egotistical, but probably true compared to goblins, ogres are probably higher tier of monster. So if you name an ogre versus a single goblin, it's not the same amount of mana you're putting in, right? I'm just going to give an arbitrary number. Let's say the ogres are 10 times more important, right? So the mana distribution between naming a single goblin, sorry, goblin and an ogre is like 10x different or are they all the same? It should be like way more, right? For a superior monster. That's what I would assume. <laughs> yes, he always falls asleep for three days. But what if it's six of them that's worth like a thousand goblins? <laughs> this hurt my Onisama there. <laughs> He's so tiny, look. And he's already passed out. But we didn't even name them. What? 
lap pillow because Shion loves the lap pillow, right? She loves giving her titties for Rimuru's, you know, slime form, right? <laughs> boing, boing, where'd the skin color change? When did that happen? When did that happen? We didn't even name them. We were about to name them. We pass out. They've already changed. What does that mean? What? Huh? Yeah, you're about to name them, you passed out, and now they all have already changed. Huh. The fuck? They've evolved to a Kijin. When did he give you the name Benimaru? We passed out. Or did we miss some shit? What the fuck? Alright, cool, Benimaru. No, you did it. You skipped this shit. I thought you passed the fuck up before you named. Alright, they skipped it. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Kijin. We better a monster. It's like a lightning ogre? What is it? I actually don't know what a Kijin is. Yeah, he became a husband though now. Crazy to think Rigard look like that, man. Shina looks the most familiar of all of them. I mean, it's the, what's the difference? Less fucking eyeshadow? I don't know, smaller horns? <laughs> Without the fang? It looks identical to me. Shion's skin color just completely changed. Opa Ibijin? <laughs> okay, busty, busty uh, beauty. Old man! Hakuro. Did he just say he looks so younger now? <laughs> what do you what do you mean? <laughs> what do you what do you what, do you, what do you, he looks a lot younger now? What what is this? The difference of fucking 85 and 75? What do you fucking mean? Well, I, he doesn't put his like entire like in you know, a scarf around his mouth anymore. I guess I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> John Smith! John Smith! Soe. Cool, cool. <laughs> Again, skin tone just changed, that's it. See? They skipped the big tall hammer guy just here. We just did character name introduction for the entire ogre group, and we just ignore the big hammer guy. What the fuck? Okay, superior monsters obviously requires a lot, but... Okay, so my assumption based on, you know, one-to-one -one ratio of goblin ogre difference. Where's the hammer dude? Yeah, where is he? Alright, he's already at Kaijin's place. What does he look like now? Probably the same, right? I just... Even now, I don't know who he is. I just... I'm... I, I, I've forgotten a lot of shit about this anime, but this character... Did he even exist? What the fuck? Name one significant thing this guy's done. <laughs> Who the fuck are you, Kurobe? <laughs> like an ordinary middle-aged guy. Is this the author memeing right now? Thinking, like, saying, uh, this guy looks like a fucking middle-aged guy, just an ordinary dude, so he's gonna be a very forgettable background character, and now he just fucking acts as a worksmith in Kaijin's place. Dignified Grey. <laughs> Rimuru's happy that there's just a finally just a normal middle-aged guy. <laughs> Rimuru, even old man Hakuro here was compared as like a dignified gray. He was threatened by that. But this dude is like, oh, finally, a fucking normal looking boomer office worker. <laughs> he likes it the most. He likes Kurobe the most. Uh-oh. Orcs are coming. 
It should be against the lizard men, right? Oh, the lizard men! Here we go. Okay, okay. The, 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 them walking from behind actually looks kind of bad. It, it, it sticks out here a lot, for sure, right? Yeah, it does. That's a lot of them, man. Uh, uh, okay, Lake Sis. Uh, okay. Oh, the Lizardman Kingdom. They just live in the swamps? Okay. Where is Gabiru, man? Where is this idiot Gabiru at? A lot? <laughs> 200,000? Jesus. We have 100,000 lizards? That's a lot. All I remember from the lizard king here is that he's actually a really good person, but his son is an idiot. And that's the coolest thing, right? How do they keep them bellies full? They don't, right? Because... Don't they just keep eating? It's like a unsatiable hunger. So they defeat their enemies and they straight up eat them, right? That's how they just continue to go like that? Yeah, just complete brute force. Betty Mother's Village. Mm. Guild. Orc Lord Guild. What do they want? I straight up don't even know what Gelmut's plan here is. Like, what are you trying to do? Just fucking fuck shit up? Just cause chaos? So then you can take advantage of it later, I, I guess? He does, it's not like he's planning on taking out Rimuru like this, right? I, I don't think so, right? Back up from... Rimuru! Uh-oh. <laughs> Wagamusuko! <laughs> Here he is, guys. <laughs> Lord Gelmi named him too? Oh. What? Oh, I did not remember this. What the fuck? Gelmi named Geld and Gabiru. Okay. <laughs> Dad's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> What was that? The girl looked at him and he made a lizard noise. Look at this. Look at the stare, dude. Hmm. <laughs> Take out Gelmude. Yo, so far, Gabidu, right there, if we just, just only take that, Mysterious kind of cool, right? He didn't say anything stupid. He didn't do anything dumb just yet. Just based off of that. But oh boy. Oh boy. Here it comes. Ah, Hakuro beating the shit out of kids here. Right, this is Hakuro's favorite thing to do. Beat the shit out of little goblins. <laughs> Fuck them, kids. <laughs> you know he loves this, dude. Look how happy he is. He's just getting stressfully beaten the shit out of children, dude. Oh, <laughs> oh Gopta! Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Ramga's just licking him. Oh, Once every cup 100 year unique monster. No, not even fears and terrors. We actually eat them. Yeah, because it's food for them. <laughs> Yo, how is this training? How the fuck is this training? The kids are fucking running for their lives. They don't even have a weapon. Actually, maybe they're just doing cardio, but I like to imagine Hakuro is right behind them chasing after them with a the sword. 
<laughs> yeah, the kids, are, the kids are literally screaming in the background during this monologue. Gel mute again. Yeah, him. Giga Chad. Refuse them. Oh, implying that Rimuru was an acceptable master. De oh, damn, what the fuck? Oh, what the Riz? Ranga approves. Geromodo? Oh. <laughs> hello, hello, so say. Gelmude. Yeah. I had no idea how important this name Gelmude was in season one, man. He's everywhere. He does. He's just spamming it. Yeah, why? Our best informant. They may one day come here. Come on, show up. Let's go. Show up. Come on, do it. Oh, more kids getting brutalized by Hakuro. Look how ha happy he is. Oh, Gabiru. Now, does Gopta humble Gabiru here? Because I don't remember much other than the fact that Gabiru is a fucking idiot. He's got some fanboys that goes, Kakui Gabiru-sama, right? <laughs> but like, I think we do humble him here. I don't think it's Gopta, was it? It'd be funny if it was. Okay, enlist their aid. You're supposed to ask for help. Yeah, that's right. He looks down on his dad. Do what? I wonder if he truly feels that way. The fanboys, dude. Yeah, you have a name, Gabiru? Unequaled in the art of the spear. Press X to doubt. <laughs> Kazuma voice acting. The Kazuma voice acting, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is a perfect example of an idiot leading the idiots. Oh, so cool, Gabiru sama Where's the light coming from? <laughs> <laughs> Look, in the beginning, I thought that these dudes were fucking clowns. And they are. Absolutely are. And he does continue to fuck up in their arc. He does. He does. But I do know that there is a redemption for Gabiru. And then these guys in the beginning that I thought were just idiots. They are still idiots, but they're likable idiots. I actually do enjoy Gabiru and his fan club. <laughs> Gabiru! Gabiru! The idiot leading the idiots. I mean, if you think about it, Gabiru's crew, and we're not so different, guys. I feel like sometimes I'm Gabiru, and you guys are the fucking, you know, the fanboys. <laughs> Just hyping me up, and I'm like, Ooh, and then the ego goes to my head. <laughs> Let's go, Gabiru. Alright, that's another episode. Fun to see all the different things that's being set up, right? So the ogres get all their names. They skipped it, but technically, apparently, they were named. Now, like, it, it wasn't my fault at all. Why this dude, the big dude, wasn't even, like, someone I remember. Because he was straight up just a boomer. Middle-aged man. He just, he just exists as, like, an NPC that works in Kaijin's shop. I don't remember a single significant thing 
that this guy has done because he probably hasn't done anything. I straight up thought I, like like he was a new character for a second because I remember this tree. I remember this group, right? This is the the OG ogres. But then I'm like, wait, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, he does exist. He's a, he, he, he Rimuru likes him the most, right? The orcs are attacking. Um, fucking lizard men here. There's some drama going on because the dad and I think this girl also is like a very loyal and faithful servant, right? And they have like I think they're like disappointed in Gabiro. The, the king is actually like a really cool person to throw and remember. But Gabiro, you know, he's in this rebellious face. He's just got named. He's a little bit power tripping. He has his fanboys going Gabiro, Gabiro. So an idiot like him is obviously gonna get his ego through the fucking roof. But he needs to be humbled, and he does. He does. How could have beaten the shit out of the kids is something that I missed. I forgot this happened. He and multiple instances. The kids are always getting this shit kicked in by Hakuro in the future season two, right? And during this dialogue, just Benimaru and Rimuru talking, you can hear the kids screaming in the background, which is a really funny thing. One of the things that I also forgot completely was importance of Demon Lord Gelmu. This guy's just going around naming everybody. I don't remember him at all, but he's clearly so important here. Uh, uh, okay, sure. And then we have basically the Lizardman coming for help. Gabiru is probably going to fuck this up. We're trying to enlist for aid, but you know he's probably going to fuck this up. I would love to see a showdown between Gabiru and Gopta do next episode. But that's it from me. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.